What is up guys? I'm John the Potter. Welcome to the studio. Today we have a completely full kiln, a bunch of really interesting new stuff, testing stuff. We got marbled pots, finally. Haven't done these for a while, so that's exciting. We got insanity, <sighs> insanity pots and mugs. Some of my favorite best-selling stuff. I get questions all the time, how does that work? I have a little stilt in there. But we just had a restock, June 4th, Sunday. So everything that's in here was going up. So go check out the Etsy shop if you wanna see what we have available for sale right now. It's about 150 degrees in this kiln room right now, so that's why I will be sweating throughout this video. We have the air conditioner on in that other area so we can work and it's comfortable. And then we have this area, which is dries all the pots out really quickly, which is nice. But without further ado, we are going to unload this kiln. I hope you're all doing very well. This is, oh, that one just fell out nicely. Insanity mugs. You guys, they are awesome. Awesome, awesome. I'm happy that I really figured out a way to like replicate that. Because the first few times they all kind of came out differently. Now I really feel good about it though. So all, I have five insanity mugs going up in this restock. They typically will sell some of the first things because I can't do that many, you know? Supply and demand. Nice, that's a good one. Sweet! There you go, five ones. They, some of these have a little thumb rest on them too. If you see that, boom, it's kind of fun. Put that on a, quite a few different pots that are going up in the sale this weekend. Oh, and then here we have an order for beer steins. Liter beer steins, 32 ounces. So this was our tester for Waconi Brewing Company, 2023. They're gonna get a number on the bottom. They're kind of a collector. We did like 85 for them last year. So it's exciting stuff. So we gotta make 100 of these over the next couple months. And this is big. I don't know if you can tell how big this is, but it is large and in charge. And then, whoo, ouch, hot, I gotta put gloves on. Marbled, pink marbled, raspberry mist on top. Alabaster, white in the inside, white on the inside. Oh, they're sweet. Haven't had those in a long time. Gotta put on my gloves. So these were all different tests. So Mako Shino on the bottom is that brown glaze. And then it's like Mako Shino with, I think Winter Wood, Mako Shino with Aurora Green, Mako Shino with Norse Blue, Mako Shino with Red Gloss, Mako Shino with Blue Surf. So those are all just testers. And then I finally got buttercream, continental clay. So we can finally start doing some more different Northern Lights stuff, which is exciting. Those are cool. So that's black gloss, metallic green, and then buttercream on the bottom, all from, or buttercream's from continental clay. The other two are from Minnesota clay. And then here is some marbled pots. Love it. Yes. Norse blue on the inside to match that blue on the outside. Those are gorgeous, beautiful. Little drippage there, but those look really nice. Oh yeah, sweet. All right, woo, that is cool. So this is lava rock on the bottom with green tea over top. Very space galaxy. Probably can't see it that well in the camera, but it is cool. All right, I'm hot. Another one of those. And then, nice, I did some northern lights with the red underglaze on top. Haven't done that in a long time. Those are very cool. Did that again here. That looks really good. Yes, yes, yeah. Nice, look at that. That's gorgeous. Here's the Norse blue again with these marbled ones. Here's a unique new one that I haven't done before. It's pretty cool. Carved, carved Aurora Green over red. So I just kind of took some diamond core carving tools, carved those in fun ways. It's pretty cool. So it's got a little texture to it. I like it, I like it. We're in full on experimenting, having fun, getting the new gas kiln hooked up. This one is a custom order I'm working on, just like an example. So not sure if I like that yet. Nice, there's the Mako Shino with Norse Blue on top. Oh, it's hot, hot, hot. All right, here's some more marble, marble tumblers. That looks really nice, super cool. Woo! So there's the another one with black around the rim and inside and then 
blue, black, green on the outside. There's one that has unglazed on the bottom. If you like the feeling of raw clay, burning through my gloves, making me sweat even more. All right, here's a few, those are kind of cool. Half glazed on top, half marble with clear gloss glaze. Haven't done anything like that in a while. Very cool. Another one of those. It's like a sauna in here. Jace. All right, had a little drippage happen on that one. But otherwise, a very cool mug. Shoot, I hope that we don't have that. Oh, nice. Didn't have that on this one. Minnesota Cop Desert Sunset over Copper Ore. And then another one of those. Those look nice. Ooh, nice. A couple more of those raspberry mist on top of marbled. It's kind of cool. Kind of a different kind of different for me. Not the typical marble or the typical glazed. And in between. Got a couple monkey monkey ones. Ooh. All right, and then a few more just all stuff you've seen so far. Hiya! All right, so last shelf, we got some more marbled tumblers. This was a, I made this design a while ago and we use them at our house all the time. They're so nice. They hold a lot, so like they're probably like 20 ounces. Just sweet. Sweet blue surf on the inside. Love it. Those are really cool. So there's a set of four of those. Got some gorgeous Northern Lights with red. Really good. Ooh. Nice, I like those. Got a little bit of a drippage going on there, but we'll grind that off and should be all right. Nice, wow. That is really cool. This this glaze seems to like kind of go back and forth between like getting really glossy. This is the same glaze in the same kiln, applied the same way just on different shelves. So this was on the bottom shelf and this was on more of the top shelf. Isn't that interesting? I literally just felt sweat drip off my face. It is, well this thermometer says 130 in this kiln, but that one says 90 over there. So it's at least 90 in here. Oh yes, nice. Ah, got another drip. It's all right, it's good though. Desert sunset. Those turned out really good. These have the little wavy bottom, which I like, it's fun. Spiral, getting thirsty just unloading pots. It's like a workout. There's, there, I did quite a few of these. This is like my new favorite glaze, Desert Sunset. All right, in here, Northern Lights, Northern Lights with red. And then, oh, these turned out pretty good. Mocha Monkey, Mocha Monkey, Roar Green over red. Love it. Love it. All right, and then just some more Desert Sunset. And that is it for this kiln load. Beautiful. A few little small imperfections there, but nothing that bothers me too much. All right, it's a very exciting time in the studio. We uh, picked up the gas kiln, are working on that. We got tons of pots coming. We got an art market coming up, so if you're local, come check that out. Um, there's information on my socials about that. Otherwise, we're completely redoing our whole Patreon. So pretty soon in the next two or three weeks, we're gonna be coming out with like it's gonna be great deals like on pottery that you're just gonna get. You're gonna get coupons and discounts and extra like stuff. So we're really excited about that. We've been working hard on that. So if you uh, have, it's like $4 a month or $5 a month or eight, you can choose how much you wanna spend per month. Um, that would be really, really helpful for us. And then we are hoping to provide lots of value for you so that you wanna join. Join in here, join what we're doing. So check out the re restock. Look out for the Patreon. Look out for future videos. Comment below if you want like a certain video to me to make. We got a huge long list of videos that we're working on. Tutorials, fun videos, a lot of stuff. So, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.